Hello, my name is Howard Lake from UK Fundraising, and today I'm delighted to be speaking to Teresa Litzer of Lightful. Good morning, Teresa. How are you? Good morning, Howard. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I want to find out a bit more about Lightful, but in particular, the campaign that you're about to launch uh, this year, your next campaign. Tell us more. Yes, of course. So Lightful, first of all, is a tech for good company. We're working with charities and nonprofits all over the world. So we deliver products, services, we have a social media platform, and we're also doing capacity building, working with civil society and community leaders all over the world. And we're running a campaign called Reclave Social the last four years now. So we started in 2018 and we felt uh, we'd like to be more positive and especially working with charities, we know that they're doing very important work, but it's not always as highlighted as it should be. And we said, why don't we give it a go and just see how we can spread the word and make social media more positive. And just like that, it's an annual thing and it goes every year. So it's really exciting. That's very good. So remind me what, the, what was the first one about? Years so ago. the first year was in 2018 and it was kind of like a test just to see how it goes. So the theme was pretty simple. Let's make social media more positive. And then it picked up and it went really well. It reached millions of people. So then we started being more strategic over the next years. So for example, the second year, it was more about let's get rid of the negativity. Let's just not talk about the positive side, but also acknowledge that there is a negative side that we need to understand and we need to be able to challenge. So the third year, it was more about let's continue the conversation. So it is a one day that we're celebrating, but it's not just one day. So we want to focus on the movement. We want to have some conversations throughout the year and more like explore what does it mean to reclaim social for good. And obviously this year, there couldn't be any other theme really, more about helping each other to overcome the challenges and it's really interesting because the first days that we started the outreach, everyone was really desperate for positive stories, including yeah. myself. Yeah. So it felt like a really good opportunity to come together and try to highlight pretty much the work that we've done the last year, all of us spending more time on social media or maybe at the personal level, how our screen time has changed, how do we feel about reading more negative stories all over the internet and try to explore new ways. How can we make social media more inspiring and be more mindful on our own with our social media use? So is it really just for charity, campaigning, nonprofit staff, or is it for supporters, volunteers? It's pretty much for everyone. It's really open and it is a public campaign. It started with a charity sector, but as we're saying, it's anyone who feels that they just want, they're interested in social media, they might be working as social media or comms managers, and they just feel that they're passionate about social good, really. And I think some of the numbers, I, even I can remember from the first year when we covered it, the numbers were pretty impressive very quickly for a, for a short burst, intense campaign. Can you can you remember roughly what, well, what's your yeah. target for this year? What do, what do you hope? To, so the interesting thing is we're not really setting numbers because obviously it's an awareness campaign that we just want to feel yeah. good and try to highlight inspiring stories. But it's really nice to see. I think the first year it was around 15 million people and it was trending on Twitter. And when we add up the numbers, the last three years, we reached more than 150 million people. So just thinking of that, we just feel like this is really impressive. We really didn't believe that in the end. Yeah. And I think this year, even more, I think we're not thinking of the numbers. We just want to focus on the sentiment and try to inspire more people to feel a little bit more hopeful, really, about social yes. media. Yeah. So who can join in? How do they join in? And when? First of all, Reclaim Social is on the 5th of February, on Friday. And of course, you can join any time. As we're saying, this is a big day on the 5th of February, but it's pretty much happening all over the year. If you feel like you have an interesting story that's inspiring, it's positive, you're always welcome. And it is open for everyone. You might be an individual that's just using social media. You might be working on marketing and comms, or you might be in a charity and nonprofit organization who are using social media for good. So there are many ways you can join. You might want to share how you're using social media, especially the last year, any challenges you might have overcome. You might want to just share an inspiring story from your supporters, beneficiaries, or you might want to thank someone who helped you feel a little bit more positive the last year. And we're saying kind of like nominate your heroes of positivity. And something that I'm also interested as an additional thing is you can share tips on how to change social media for good. So if you feel like you have some ideas, some thoughts on how can we really do it on our own, or how can we address the challenges on a bigger scale? 
it's always something interesting to consider. Yeah, and it is a big scale. It is global, isn't it? I know Lightfoot yeah. is based based in London, UK, yeah. but but this is intended as, as a global cross border. Yeah, yeah, of course. Campaign, which is great. Um, tell us just a bit more about Lightfall. Um, I know it's a B Corps. Um, mm. I've spoken to quite a few B Corps um, people behind before. Um, tell us a bit more about about Lightfall. Yes, of course. So Lightfall is a social good company. We're working with charities and number of all over the world. And we're kind of split in different areas. So, for example, as I mentioned, we have a social media platform for nonprofits. So, this is the product side. We also deliver services, so working with charities and nonprofits of all sizes, really, to try to help them improve their digital experiences. And something that was more recent the last couple of years, and it's really exciting for us, is the Bridge program, which is capacity building that includes learning, tech, and support. So pretty much use all the different skills and everyone in the team to help nonprofits all over the world. And it's been really interesting because it's really good to see, especially the last year, how everyone really has to pivot to digital and you have to find new ways to be more efficient really with your work. So we had some really interesting conversations the last year and we're really glad that we're helping more nonprofits. Brilliant. Teresa Litzer, thank you very much indeed. Thanks so much, Howard.